Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be trying out Rainbow Six Extraction. Alright, so here's I guess the main screen. We can choose stuff. Alright, so here's the operators. If you have an operator and they lose all their health, they get surrounded in this foam. If the team can't get them back to a pod, or if the, so either the whole team dies, or the team leaves and doesn't get them back to a pod, then you lose the operator and you have to go back and rescue them in another mission. So it's pretty cool. You got to be careful. If you mess around, you'll lose them. They got to use someone else. Hopefully it's not your favorite operator. It's the same operators in Rainbow Six Siege, which I've played. So I know what pretty much all of them do. The more XP you're in, the more React tech you'll have access to. Obviously, since you level up, you get access to more tech. As you achieve new development milestones, you unlock new React tech that can be equipped to any operator on your roster. So you can use the equipment with anyone, but obviously each operator has their own specific like ability that you have to use. So pretty much the... You don't want the guys to see you. If they do, they'll, after a couple seconds, they'll alert everyone. So if they do see you, you need to kill them quick. You can stealth kill them from behind. Those nests in the middle will infinitely produce guys if they uh let's see there's a way to show it somehow that yeah these nests will infinitely produce enemies if they get activated they activate by i'm i believe it's just if an enemy sees you the nest will activate but while they're not activated they just sit there dormant but you might as well kill them while you can before you try to kill someone and then you can also rescue the operator this is the first mission I've already done, but I can go ahead and show it off again. Just since I couldn't get the recording to work on the last one. I just gotta pick who I want. Here. Oh, he can just show by himself still. I used Doc first time, so I'll go ahead and use him again. Does it let me use the other guns yet? No. I don't know how you actually unlock those yet. And I'm fine with the gear I have, so let's go ahead and get into it. You have one target to take down with your reactor blade. All right. A sample will be collected at the same time. It's doing okay. All my settings are good. All right. Now I'm gonna mess. Miss the buttons a bunch. You're getting close to the target. It's already know where he's at because I've done this. He should be in here unless he moves. Yep, there he is. Yeah, I don't want to let these guys wake up. That's the actual lead enemy. Now that's the way to use the reactivate. Remember to keep it close at hand. I think that's how you get the XP is getting this going. Um, each zone gets harder as you go. There's always, I don't know if, I don't know if it's always three, but I'm pretty sure there's always three zones and they get harder as you go. And you can always leave after each zone or you can choose to go on, but once you go on, you can't come back. Like I said, if you die, you lose the operator until you come back and get them. There's also four different types of packs you can find on the ground, like refill ammo, your ability, heck, and I believe health. But once you lose health, you can't gain it back. You can only like gain the like shield look and stuff as you can tell the plus 50. So we will go ahead and head on here. As you can tell that's already at full capacity, so I can't do that. This is one of these vaults or airlock things, what they call them. And this is how you move on. Now I'm heading on to zone two from zone one. So this, this zone is technically supposed to be a little bit harder. We need you to plan auto trackers on nests so we can monitor them. Locate some nests. Here's the nest I was talking about. Definitely want to aim for the head. Well, that's not that's good. Last time, oh, there he is. Headshot to one shot him. Dude, I think there's two over here, if I remember correctly. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, these are the nests that'll... They produce this goo too, and it'll, it will spread like crazy if they actually activate. I've got planning on destroying. I don't know what the trackers do. I think that's just an objective. I don't think like it has any effect on anything. Usually you just destroy them with the melee when you get close enough. You gotta be careful because last time there was a guy that I like patrolled here. And I definitely think he's still here. Good plant. And the goo, you move slower in it, but they do not. Ooh, the heck? Oh god, yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, don't let him shoot me. I'll go ahead and destroy that. Usually you just want to melee him to save ammo. Guys, you can tell, see, if they, if you kill those guys while they're like, know you're there, they'll spread this like goo, but if they don't know you're there, they won't spread it at all. There we go. You gotta be careful, they can be up above on you too. You can see them through walls, certain ones like these wooden ones, just like a normal rainbow sticks. Any wall that you can like shoot through and actually like damage and go through, you can see them through with this light. I think their heads get more red as they get more alert to you. So if you see their heads start getting really red. Yeah, I can see them through the wall so I could just do that. Which is really nice. You definitely want to do that as often as you can. It's not like there's a guy, but I think it's just these things. You want, you, you want to get rid of as many of these things as possible. That's no shame. I don't need to grab that. I'm trying to ooh, get out of here. Because like I said, these will spawn enemies infinitely until they're destroyed if they get activated. Right, let's head on to the third area, which is like the rescue the guy area. This will be like what happens if someone dies and gets to the left. I sent for rescue objective. An MIA operator is trapped in an Archean tree. Find it. That's really no matter. I think there should be guys up there, but I know where to go. We should be fine. I don't know if they get alerted to the doors opening since they make noise or not. Oh God. Pretty view. Oh, he's getting alerted. If anyone's in there or something before I go in there. Pulse would be good because he can also see people. You can also like shoot and punch the gunk stuff. I think it grows back. I know maybe not. If they're active it would. There's gunk everywhere because of the the like tree thing is right here. There's the Archean tree. Pull the MIA out. You'll see how the tree reacts to your rescue. It's resisting. Is fighting back. Eliminate those anchor points and arc sales. Then pull your casualty. Dang it, they're all. You gotta wait until they're open. I think they turn blue eye right after they're about to open. You're destroying the 
destroyed all anchor points that were right. the trip. You can't let that thing get the farther left it goes, the worse it is. You wanna you wanna win the battle. If it gets all the way down to that like red circle thing, then you they like get pulled back in and you can't pull them back out again. You have to, I'm saying you just gotta retry, you gotta come back again and retry the next mission. But as you can tell if you get them over to the right side, then you actually successfully get them out. Then you actually gotta get them all the way to the extraction point. I'm just gonna shoot this crap so I walk through. Let's see the overshield stuff like goes away eventually. Like extra health. Place the operator in the extraction pod. There we go, now technically I can use them again if I have some that I'd lost. You're ready to rescue our own. You can request for exit at the extraction point. And now we're extracted. That was a good run. Do that in a real incursion and we'll contain the archaeans like nobody I just wanted to get a feel for the game, see what it was like, and when Scam gets on to play, uh, we will head to New York City and try an actual mission. So I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please leave a like, leave the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.